Hey guys, uh, welcome to the tutorial. Uh, today we'll be learning about Azure Key Vault. And uh, Azure Key Vault is basically a cloud service that provides a secure uh, way of storing your secrets. And when you say secret, it's nothing but um, any store keys or passwords, certificates, or other type of secrets. And with a Azure Key Vault, you can uh, create and manage keys and your certificates using Azure portal or you can also use uh, PowerShells and uh, you can also use uh, Python or any other uh, languages. So today uh, in this tutorial, um, you will learn how to create Azure wall using Azure portal and we will learn the features like a uh, soft delete that is available and uh, we will also learn how to recover secret keys, secrets and keys. And uh, and also we will learn about Azure Vault policy and uh, how do we uh, manipulate and manage those policies. And uh, we will also work on, as I told you, like we using PowerShells, we will be working on Azure Vault. And towards the end of the lesson, uh, we will write a simple uh, Python code uh, using Azure SDK and other uh, modules. And uh, we will be able to create and uh, delete and uh, retrieve Azure keys and uh, secrets. So before going that, um, let's just understand the simple terminologies uh, with Azure Key Vault. You will be able to do a uh, secret management. And as I told you, secrets are nothing but tokens, passwords and certificates, API keys and other secrets. And with the key management, um, you can actually uh, encrypt your data. Um, we will, um, I will show you more on that uh, in this tutorial. And uh, let's jump on Azure portal. And if you want to learn more about Azure Key Vault, I'll put down the description of the Microsoft documentation and you can learn all the best practices and uh, other security aspects of this. So I'm inside the Azure portal. Let's create a key wall. And uh, to do that, just do a search and you will have this key vault in place. Let's click on the create button and uh, choose the resource group. And uh, you can choose the resource region wherever your resource group is deployed. Mine is actually on West US and I will mark that and um, I will give out the key vault name and then click on next access policy. So in access policy, if you want your uh, virtual machines to uh, fetch the certificates or secrets, you have to give the permission by click on this uh, checkbox and same with this uh, template deployment. And when you want to do um, a disk encryption on a virtual machine, then you have to enable this so that you can uh, manage your uh, custom managed keys. But we're not going to do any of this. So I'm going to uncheck everything. And then the main important point is like, I have my user here and I have to give certain permissions to actually work on the keys and uh, secrets. So click on that and um, you can actually uh, uh, enable all these things appropriately for now. It's just a demo. So I'm going to uh, give everything and I want to also have a privilege on doing a purge operations and I'll talk about the purge in uh, coming tutorial. So in in the secret permission um, you have you should have a get list set delete recover backup and restore and I will also enable myself with a purge and uh, this is the important aspect like anybody who want to have access and uh, if you want to restrict certain permissions you can do so by you know checking and unchecking and back and forth and uh, Let's move on to the networking part and in the networking part, you have three uh, facilities where you can have a public endpoints, a public endpoint with a selected network and a private endpoint. So for now, when we choose public endpoints, it's all over the internet and anybody can access this key vault. And let's say if you want to move on to the selected network, then you have to actually have um, existing virtual network in place. and. Uh, you have to do those and we are not going to do any of that and I will do it on the upcoming tutorial but uh, let's move on to the public endpoint all network so and then finally if you want you can have a tag otherwise just do a review and create so once the key wall is created um, I will resume the video back uh, and I will start working on it so the validation is passed so I'll do create and as it is creating, I'll pass the video and resume it. Okay guys, so the deployment is complete and let's go on to the resource. So as you click on to the resource, uh, let's do a, a creation of keys actually using Azure portal. So to your uh, left hand side, you can see settings and uh, click on the keys. 
and uh, let's generate a key manually so let's say like generate option is generate and then let's say that uh, my keys for winbox winbox is a name and then you can type the um, RSA as your key type and you can give a RSA key size and you can also do a set activation expiration date so let's go on do that um, I will give just uh, an hour so 11 to 10 30 a.m. to 11 so and then you can enable it and then just once you create create and uh, it will go and create the key for us and let's say that you want to take a backup of the key you can do so by just clicking onto the key once it is deleted and then uh, you can say download backup for now you can uh, download the keys only manually and um, you know for taking the backup of each key you have to do a download back and let's move on to the back of the key vault and now let's go and delete the keys actually i have created this key that now you have seen like my keys for windows box let's go and delete this key and once you delete this key let's say you want to restore the keys but how do you restore the key when you don't have one right so but since we already download the key let's go and upload the key back again let's say restore backup and then um, i have the, my key here so let's say open and let's see if it is it's been successful guys so that's how you actually um, upload this key but since this key is a different key you see the key name is one two three four let's just restore the key that we just created it let's say we want to do this one this will fail because we have enabled a soft delete and uh, you can if you click on this error message it clearly says that this can happen if either a second key with the same name was created after the first key was deleted that's trying to restore the key whose name is already in use this is because we have a soft delete let's go on to go to resource keys and then let's click on the manage delete keys let's see if that is uh, listed there okay sometimes it takes time uh, to reflect uh, I'll just for wait for some time and let's see if that is reflected here or not as we wait for the keys uh, to pop up here uh, let's go and uh, meantime create a secret so click on to the settings and then you can have a secret and let's just create a secret uh, manually and I will name this as app secret and my secret password is password one two three four and um, you can say that you know app name app secret and you can again you can set the act activation and expiration date but I'm not going to do that let's just do a create so once the secret is created you can click on the secret again um, you can do a download of that backup you can do a delete and uh, you can do that sort so right now let's move on to uh, the keys and let's see uh, if it is popping up in the managed keys and now you can see that after some time you have this uh, key that we have deleted previously so let's just recover that key by clicking on this and uh, from your left hand bottom you can see a recover button and when you click on recover now um, it will actually recover the key and it will put back in place and the reason that it is doing is because we have a retention period for 90 days uh, when we created the um, vault actually these are you have this days to return the deleted walls we have a uh, 90 days but in this case we have seven days so that's that's the reason uh, we were able to retrieve the manageable keys okay guys so i'm inside the portal again and uh, i have on to the left hand side just click on secrets and you have a bunch of secrets that i have created in the past let's just go and uh, delete something uh, that we can remember so let's say that uh, let me create a app secret let's just go and delete the app secret and click mark to delete and since we have soft delete in place it should be back in the backend so 
let's do on a refresh and we'll make sure that that is not here so after some time we should go and uh, see that is being listed in this manage deleted secrets and uh, usually this takes time uh, so let's let's just resume uh, the video back after five minutes okay guys so after five minutes uh, i'm just logging back to the portal let's click on the manage delete secrets now you can see that you know the previous uh, secret that we have deleted is coming in place so let's go back to the powershell and see if we can do the same so i'm inside the powershell and uh, i'm gonna fire the command back again and uh, it should uh, return the results as you can see that you know it is same reflecting here let's go and uh, recover this uh, secret using the powershell command so let's fire the command um, secret um, recover and uh, let's see if that app secret is being recovered or not okay so we got the response back uh, that it has been recovered so clear the screen so let's just mark the end of this chapter guys so i will give you all these uh, powershell command on the youtube description now let's move on to uh, work on to the python side and now uh, we will create um, a simple python code and uh, we'll do the same process using the python okay guys so i'm inside my uh, virtual environment and uh, let's just verify the python version that i'm using so it's python uh, 3.95 uh, and uh, so let's just uh, i have my sample code here and uh, i will just open that and i'll explain you ie so you have to um, import uh, the Azure Key Vault secret and Azure Identity and uh, Azure Key Vault keys. So these modules have to be in place and uh, this is the credential that you have to um, use. Uh, we are right now using default Azure credentials. So I have to do an uh, AZ login into the terminal and uh, we will be asking the input of the secret name and then the value in the prompt and then uh, we will uh, probably just print those ones and uh, so I will just give you the sample code in the description or I will provide you the github link and towards the down uh, we are actually deleting the secret key here actually and also um, here we are actually going to create the key and uh, the key that I am going to give is uh, it's on my name Guna RSA and I have just you know given the type as uh, RSA and uh, size is um, 2048 and again we are going to retrieve the key using the get key command so this is the sample uh, high level uh, python code i will uh, execute and i will show you how it is working so space the full path and the kyky dot py and if okay so what it is is um, i have to export the key vault name and uh, because i have used it in the, my code so let's just quickly uh, export my key vault name which we have created so copy paste and uh, let's just clear the screen and try the code back again so now we can see that it's asking for my uh, secret so let's just type uh, azure blah 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 something and uh, value something so here it says that creating a secret and uh, you can see that you know for the secret that i have created we i'm able to retrieve it back with the same password so and then uh, the next step is that i'm just going and deleting um and uh, again for this i told you that you know i have the hard coded the create key value which is rsa guna rsa and um, i'm just printing the type of key as rsa and again i'm retrieving the key back from the azure using the api so guna rsa so that's marks the end of this tutorial guys back up and it and if you have any doubt uh, just feel free to post any of your comments and i will happy to help you out thank you